Hi everybody, my name is Lorena and I'm going to talk about my final project. Um, I chose to talk about the Trail of Tears because I've always wanted to know why it is that Native Americans have to, or Native American descendants have to live in a certain place, in a certain like reservation with pretty much your own kind of people and I think that's really unfair. Um, my m grandmother's mom used to tell my mom and my grandmother all the time that um, living reservations was really awful because she was uh, Cherokee, full Cherokee. So she would always um, tell or tell them that it wasn't fair. Um, they didn't get to live same as everybody else. So that's why I chose this topic. Um, I already chose three of my sources, so what I did first, I went on Google Scholar uh, to have a legit source of information um, rather than Wikipedia or something like that. So I went on Google Scholar and I typed in Trail of Tears. It gave me uh, three books that are available for free on Google Books. Um, I think one of them is not free, but I'll just buy it. Um, but So these books are... Um, they're called The Trail of Tears, a Primary Source History of the Forced Relocation of the Cherokee Nation by Anne Bryars. The second one is Trail of Tears, The Rise and Fall of the Cherokee Nation by John Eel. And the third is The Trail of Tears um, by Sue Vanderhoek. Um, so these books, um, the first one is, uh, like it says, it's the primary source, so it's all narratives from people that were actually there. Um, I think this will help me have a better understanding of the events that actually happened as opposed to what uh, history books say happened. I also have two books that are, the other two are in um, third person, but I think that those are, you know, more, less biased sources. They're more legitimate, per se, so I think that combining the three of them will give me a pretty good understanding of what happened during the Trail of Tears. Um, and the third book, uh, the one by Sue Vanderhoek, that one has little facts on the side. It describes the names that are described in the events, like the Cherokee names, and translates them to English, so I have a better understanding of what it is the Cherokee said, did during this Trail of Tears and this horrible event in American history. So. Uh, yeah, that was my process. I just went on Google Scholar, typed in the books, gave me the books. Um, because this this was found in Google Scholar, I believe it's a Scholar server, so I like using Scholar sources better than just any source that I find on the internet. And all three of them, all three of my sources are books, not articles, not web or anything. And they can all be found for free in Google Books, like I said. And that's about it. Thank you very much.